Your name again? Willard McWilliams. You were the original driver. Yeah. You are going to be the driver tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. How do you yeah. get up in this rig? We never took time to uh, <laughs> just, like, get the hell up there. <laughs> Maybe you come up through the through the back? We can. The tailgate opens and there's a step there and we can go up that way. But we always just scramble up. So what do we got here? It's a very simple brake system. It, it works on this cable to get the leverage off of this this part here. Yes. With that link, you get leverage enough to put pressure on this uh, lower than the pivot point to put pressure on your uh, on the pad that sits on the wheel. So the more leverage you have there, the uh, the more pressure you have. But there's ample leverage on this with a foot because you've only got maybe four inches below the pivot point. Okay. So now tell me where that cable is hooked up to. Now this goes this goes across to from the other side to the identical one on the other side yeah. of the wagon. Yeah, we see that. Yep. Okay. Now we come back up here to this cable. You follow the cable system up to this pulley, up to the seat, and that is the the, the, the I guess you'd call it the uh, what in the hell would you call it anyhow? It's it's off of the uh, our old thrashing mill. It's a, a sort of a winch. It's a winch off of our old thrashing mill for the straw blower. Off our old thrashing mill, and my brother uh, designed this. And that that crank, like a lever, uh, would we're too far away from the from the actual brakes, so for a lever to work on a rod, so okay. we used a cable and that winch, so that will bind the wheels and stop them regardless. Okay. But with a lever, it's, uh, it's uh, it just wouldn't do the job as well as with the cable and the uh, this work. My daughter made us that sign and stuck it on there because we see built, if we can read that. We rebuilt the whole wagon. It says McWilliams uh, family. Right. World record 50 horse hitch, 1995, Navin Fair. And one day, the, the president of the fair come down and tells us that he contacted Guinness. They were here. Yeah. Guys, let's see if we do our vacuum. Uh, he's just getting dressed. Good morning. <laughs> Do you know what what's the dimensions of the wagon? Do you, did you ever measure it? Twelve foot high. Yeah. The length of it is the longest ash tree we could find.
Okay. The, the Gaudian on the far right is Wilson, yeah. and we have Sparky, and then Charity, well, and, uh, far, and the last there, one so. is uh, Joy. Joy. Okay. Now you've raced them all. That's right. We've covered everything that we thought might cause us a problem. Like we didn't sleep for days, weeks, you know, thinking about all these things. What? And it happened. And every, every day somebody was reminding us, you know, what the hell is going on? All the details. Yeah. So yeah. I uh, lightheartedly said, well, if anything does go wrong, we'll have the best seats in the crowd. <laughs> for this. <laughs> now, how long did it take? Do you mind how long it took to hitch the 50 horses? That, that morning we started at 5 o'clock. In, in the morning? Yeah. 5 in the morning. Uh, a assembling? Lot, uh, yeah. A lot of that was uh, uh, rolling their manes and putting flowers in them and tying up okay. their tails and everything. But but we we started at 5 to be ready for 11. A lot? To be hitched. So from 5 to 11. My math is about 6 hours. Uh, yeah. Yeah, and we had decorating and harnessing. Right, we uh, it was the first time we'd done it, so there was little time wasted, I suppose. But uh, it takes a while to get these horses all together, get them hitched, get our lines the way we knew we had to have them, get that all assembled, and uh, uh, there would have been some custom lines built that yeah. for that. Right. Yeah. Yeah. We have. Did. Did you have lines to every to every lines, four? We had lines in every four, and every three fours were buckled into one line that went to the wagon. So you get that many horses. It isn't a, that big a deal when you get uh, three fours together, one line on them. And one line, yes. And then you have them tied with the head right. across, yeah. Yep. They can. Uh, oh, I believe this line right here. Yeah. Is this some of the line here that you would have used for the... Yeah, I think this is... Uh, yeah, this... I remember tying this up. 20 years ago? No. <laughs> no, no, the other day. Yeah, the other day we had four hits. Now, here's our line. Okay. Yeah. That's one of the lines. Yeah. Is it four Ys? One going to each of the... This here. See this? You have, you have three lines here. One goes to the outside. Of yep. To the outside right. horse, to the left horse, let's say. Right. And this goes to the inside of the, the left pair. Okay. And this one, this buckle back here, it goes over to the, to the next hitch. And it, okay. it goes on the inside of the next pair. And then the and other... Then this here goes on this side of this horse over to this one. Yeah, okay, that ties so, the head together right. to keep them all... And you just turn that over. And there was a, and then that's the left line, and there'll be a right line, the same thing. Right. Coming the other way. Yeah, that's right. The very same thing as this, turn over, and you go back the other way. So, and, and when you get these all together, well, you'll see them driving on, uh, on Saturday. When you have your four, yeah. uh, four abreast. Yeah, you get those on, and they just drive like two. It wasn't only the horses. We, we designed this harness. This is... Is, Was the harness all custom built? Yeah. 50, 50 yeah. pairs of harness? Great. Right. Now these are our toggles that uh, uh, we got these made. Those are special made just yeah, for you? I love made. the 50 that you put on mm -hmm. there too. You had that You had that uh, right. built? That's and, right. it's, and it's also on the right. uh, scotch collar there too. Them I see. Them all. Boy, that's a ton of, that's a ton of chrome. And we had these raised links on the uh, chain link here because they sparkle from the sun from any angle. Absolutely. Yeah. These are a combination of, uh, of big hames and, and small hames. These are off a pony hame. And those screw off the top in case anything breaks. You can take this off. You can re you could repair yeah. it. Yeah, it's not, it's not all one casting. And here's another thing. These rings are loose. 
these rings are loose, so uh, did that no. did, did that help with uh, oh, just adjustment and so uh, the working of the hitch? Eh? Ever so much, and the and the uh, boy, we should have one of these up so we can explain it. The the um, the end of the hame, the deal that's on the end of the hame. Yeah. Uh, no, that, is it adjustable that, or is, is it No, but it's hinged? loose. It's loose. It's, loo it's just, hinged. Just like if you're going to tighten up your belt, if if the buckle is just solid, you know, and, and, and like your belt is solid, it, you can't tighten it up the same as the buckle, you know. You pull it together and this... I, I love the 50 that you stamped right, on every... Right, and this ring here, okay. this is all loose. A lot of hames are just hard there. We're hard, I, I know. Yeah. Cast right in. But everything is loose, so it's adjustable and will move. Now, here your lines, if they, you if see they, the, they go, go through a ring that, that you've got. Uh, if the ring's tight, then that, that doesn't right. give no give. Well, everything does it? was uh, sort of, sort of uh, made a little bit different for for our own use. Now, and, and these uh, we had all different, so many horses with different sized necks. You, so, you would have had to order different collar sizes, right? Well, we had, yeah, the collar, but these tippets, they were just made short enough that they could pop in at the bottom if you had a small horse. I, these were just any day, everyday collars that we used on them. But the, is that right? The tippet went on over the top of them. But we got this, this towel. Boy, I love that towel. And look at 50. Because there was... Well, 50, no, uh, 100. Right. Because there's... There's one on the scotch, and then there's one on the on the back band there. So that's a hundred of those special made. And here was another thing that we made. Here, and they're the only ones in the world. On this, on these bridles, we put a, a nut in the very top of the bridle. We sewed a nut in there, so if if this was used for a parade, you could screw in one of those pom poms. That those oh, 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 threaded. Right. So that's already in there. You could there. do a circus parade on that's this. Right. That's right. And I, we were always hoping that somebody would want it for a circus parade. Or something. We carved a 50 in the in this rosette here, but we, we yeah, 50 everywhere. Yeah, we got 50s everywhere on. 50 so, on the blinder, 50 on the. Yeah. Right. That's, that's, wow. The, the harness is a wee bit different than everyone else's, and uh, but the. Um, the maple leaf that we got up here. Now this, this isn't a, I don't think, a religious uh, emblem here at all. I think that came with, with the, um, with these shields. You see this? There's no end to this. Uh, we didn't want to put uh, too much chrome on here. Like a lot of people have chrome on the, on the side here. No, you're keeping it very basic. We, we kept it basic. Ah, uh, he had lots of splash. And these lines, right. These uh, these tugs are filled with belting, so for e for extra strength. Wow! And we didn't want to. We just sewed down both sides of it, so it would sort of swell it. There's just two stitches, two stitching the patent on leather, side. but you've got belting on the right. inside for right. extra strength. And oh. here we put padding under the uh, back pads. Yeah. To sit them up, make them rise a bit over the horse's back, and then these. And then you used red. Yeah. Is red the nav and cover, or that's no. just the color you chose, eh? Uh, it just seemed to be a color that yeah. a lot of people use. Yeah. And you had 50 of those, too. And we, yeah, and we only had, uh, you know... <laughs> oh, the britchens. So yeah. just britchens on the back four? Just back, britchen on the back four. Yeah, they're, they're your backup hitch right. anyways, eh? And the rest of them were just trace carriers. We have extra traces. We have a whole box with each each set of extra traces that we put on just so it wasn't just depending on the harness. Like we had we had them when we had them hitched we had them tied together you know it was uh, they weren't going to get away on us we didn't break a thing we sure didn't want seriously to. you didn't break a thing on that, all that with that amount of power we didn't want anything to break and we had her we had her good. Well, well, put together as we thought we could.